Hello there and welcome back to a brand new video here on the Manic Malamar. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for being here. Because today we're going to be ripping and reviewing the Paldean Fates Elite Trainer Box. So how about we roll that intro, get into it. Okay, so here we are. We've got the Paldean Fates. Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box sitting here on a desk right in front of us. And we're gonna rip and review this bad boy. And let's see if we can get some pretty fire pulls out of this set. Seen some mixed reviews online already about it. And already, it's not a good start because I've already forgotten to get my knife out. But how about we just use brute strength and we rip into it. HMO4, am I right? So there we go. There's our Paldan Fates. Pla uh, plastic wrap off, looks pretty good. How about we have a look at the set list. Let's get in to have a look at the set list. I like to do the ETBs first in the series now, in the Master Set series. So we can have a look at the set list and actually aim for the cards that we want to pull. Most of the cards uh, in this set look to be reprints um, from other sets, especially that page, there's not many in the main base set because it's focusing more on the shinies, so there's not that much in the main base set. There is a few new regular cards, hollows, etc., but not that much at all. A lot of those are reprints, but it's these shinies that we get into now. This is all the new stuff. What have we got? One, two, three, four. 12 per page. 12 per page, and how many pages of these shinies do we have? I mean, I'm happy to pull any shiny. Obviously, the Pikachu and the Charmander are the ones to aim for, so they're gonna be our chase cards in the baby shinies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So 10 pages of baby shinies, so that's 120 shinies. Snorlax is another one that we'll probably go for. 120 of the baby shinies to chase for. And then we've got 12 of the full arts. And then there's only three art rares, a handful of full arts. And there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I guess eight in the special illustration rares is actually okay. But having six in the golds as well, so Anywhere from the full arts upwards, that's gonna be hard to complete. And the baby shinies are also gonna be hard to complete just because of the sheer number of them. Everything else should be pretty easy for us to actually knock on the head and check off some of those, uh, those boxes and, and really smash some percentage there. Illustration rares also sound like they're easy to pull. There's only three of them, now uh, we see multiples. So how about we get into it? Let's have a look. What do we get in a Pokemon Center ETB? We get 11 booster packs of Paldean Fates. We get a full art promo featuring the shiny Mimikyu with a Pokemon Center logo. So that's the Pokemon Center logo right there. Um, the same Pokemon Center, uh, the same promo, but without the Pokemon Center stamp. We get 65 card sleeves featuring shiny Mimikyu, which is standard energy cards. Player's Guide, which is the what we've already been through there. Damage Counter, Flip Die, Condition Markers, Collector's Box to hold everything in, which is this, and the Code Card for the TCG. So how about we pull this off? Let's get rid of the outer sleeving. That's what our box, lo box looks like all the way around and on top. Looks great. Once you get that plastic wrap off, this it looks awesome. It looks really, really nice. Pop that top. Let's get into it. What have we got in here? There's our dice. There's our condition markers. All right, we'll pull this sleeve out now. And then inside there, we've got our brick of energies. We've got our code card. We've got our sleeves. So let's take a quick look at these sleeves. Typical, same old 
Pokemon quality. Matte sleeves, it feels exactly the same. Just a really nice design. It's got that nice shiny Mimikyu there on the back. Well, let's put that back in the packet and let's have a look at what else we've got. So you have the Vitas, pretty standard. Nothing really to write home about. They are quite nice, um, but still only cardboard. Nothing to write home about. And we've got our promos. So what have we got first? We've got the Mimikyu Pokemon Center promo there. And there's the non-Pokemon Center promo. It's quite a nice artwork. I really like it. We've got the Mimikyu just chilling over there in a the blanket that little old Nana here is uh, knitting. Is Nana knitting for the Pokemon or is she knitting for herself? I guess we'll never know the answer to that question. Really nice card. And the Pierce de Resistance, the packs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's what we're here for today, is those eleven packs. So I'm just gonna clean up all of this stuff and we'll rip into it. Okay, so I've moved all of the rubbish out of the way. Now you can see I've probably got a bit of a, a different setup here than I normally would. Is that gonna sit up there? Not in that, it's not going to. So let's pull this out. Let's have a bit of a look at the card itself. There we go. Fantastic artwork. Quite nice. Really like it. Shiny Mimikyu, just chilling in a blanket. Leave it up and I'm going to stick it up here on my stand. Obviously, you can see this is this is all new. In Pokemon Center, same thing. Pull it out, sleeve it up. Only difference there, like we said, like we said, it's the uh, the Pokemon Center edition with the Pokemon Center stamp on it. The only difference in that card. Okay, so what have we got? 11 packs. So what are we hoping to see? Five pulls? I think five pulls isn't, isn't too bad. Runs it over, maybe we might get six. Uh, it runs it over 50% hit rate so far. So from what I've actually been able to uh, deduce from other, other rips online. But there's your code code. All right. Woo back. Tandem Mouse, Wooper, Execute, Atticus, Mouse Hold, Iono, no shiny in this pack, we've got a Fido, then we've got a Gengar, and we're kicking it off with a Toadstool EX, which we have seen plenty of times before when we opened, what was it? Paldea Evolved, was this Paldea Evolved this set? Oh, that is a top loader. For a second there I thought I still had one of those, those old side loaders. So we're gonna put double rares down on this shelf there. They are the base of the hits, basically, so they go on the bottom shelf. Promos, they're one-off prints, they can go up the top, along with their special illustrations. Grieved, Chinchow, Wubat, again, Scraggy, Camerupt, Moonlit Hill, Donphan, there we go, there's our first baby shiny of the set, and it's a Scovillain. These do look, in person, they do look really cool. I've seen plenty of them pulled, but I haven't seen one in person until right this very second. And I do really like that, that shiny. 
It's got a great texture. Having the, the, the texture also on the border is a fantastic choice. Well done, Pokemon Company. I love that. That's really nice. And we've got a Palafin right behind it. So our first pack comes in with a double rare. Our second pack comes in with a double banger for us. We've got a baby shiny and an art rare there. I love this Palafin. That artwork is stunning. I just, I just love it. It's just so dark and mysterious. It's like Batman just perched up on the top of the building, keeping an eye over Gotham. That's what Palafin looks like in this, especially the shiny form because it's all black. That is a sick shiny. That is a sick card. It's unfortunate that they've only got three, only got three rares, uh, three illustration rares in the whole set. Because the ones that they've um, banged out, this set, are actually amazing. They are actually really, really good cards. Let's get into pack number three. So we've had two or well, three hits, basically. We're running over 100% uh, strike rate at this point in time. There's your next code card. And let's see what we can pull from this one. Mankey, Flittle, Pikachu, another Grievar, which I'm gonna see, we're gonna see a lot of doubles. Clive, Curlia, Trimeco, Mastiff, and our first pack with not a hit ends on an Annihilate. But that's okay. Three hits, three packs. We've only dropped to 100% strike rate, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, Gimme Ghoul. Now that's a new a new card, a new artwork for the set. And I do like this, this artwork, it's kind of cool. But Gimme Ghoul just hanging out in a room, kind of like lit by the, the sun coming from the, the window. It's almost like it's not meant to be there. Charmander. Let's get these, these cards up a bit closer to the camera, shall we? Focus on what you're doing here. There we go. Iona. Professor's Research. Lechonk. And a Rev of Room. So there we go. We finally dipped below that 100% strike rate. But that's okay. Aiming for a minimum of five hits. We've gotten three already. We have still quite a few packs left to go. What do you think we can pull from this one? Are we gonna actually come back roaring? Can we find that Charizard special illustration? That'd be a banger. That would just make this video an absolute banger. I've seen some pretty cool pulls. Uh, batching seems to be a bit of an issue with this set. Whimsicott, Varun, and an Armor Rouge. So no. We've missed out again on another hit. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, batching seems to be an issue with this set. I do have some product that I will hopefully be getting into at some stage quite soon. Um, and I'll talk about the batching issue with that product based off what I've seen in my own country, mind you. We've only got one wholesaler here in the country, so hopefully I can also get that same batching issue. Because really it's, I mean, yeah, we'd like to see some variety, but is it really an issue? But we'll get there. Not sure what video that's going to be, but we'll get there. Iono, Haunter, and Raichu. So we've had, what, four packs in a row now? Five packs, no, four, four, three or four packs in a row now that we've, uh, we've, we've missed out on. We, we did have a couple of bangers. The first two packs came through, but... Now we're starting to fall behind. So hopefully we can pick up the pace here a little bit and get some more. Rare Candy, Dash Bun. That card feels quite thick. Nest Ball, so does that one. Charmeleon, and there we go. Another hit, we have a Pormo Baby Shiny. Looks amazing, love it, love it. There's not much more I can say. I mean, I've already said all I, all I can about the texture. Primate and a Goldango. So there's one of the new cards of the set as well. 
quite like that card. It's really cool artwork. Goldango looks kind of amazing for a spaghetti monster. And there we go, let's chuck Pormo up there. So we're up to four. So we're only looking for one more hit. Two maximum. Is it too much to ask for two for two more hits? I don't think so. Not out of well we've got three, four packs. I don't think it's too too much to ask. Natu. Haldane Student. Cottony. Lapras. Graplocked. Technical Machine Crisis Punch. Nimona's Backpack. And we have a full art Alakazam EX Shiny. It's not too much to ask. That is a fantastic looking card. Really like that. That is great. What a good pull. Hold that to the side, then we've got an Execute, and we've got a Professor's Research. That's a sick card. We're doing really well for our pulls. That's pull number five. We've still got three packs left. What do you think we can pull within these three packs? We've gotten, well, most rarities really at this point. Um, we haven't gotten any standard full arts, but that still counts as a full art. It is a full art, so it's a shiny full art. So the only thing we're missing out in terms of our rarities, we've got a double rare, we've got our, um, our shiny, regular shiny rares, we've got an illustration rare, we have a full art Pokemon shiny, uh, a full art and a special illustration, oh and a gold card as well, obviously the hyper rares too. We're not going to pull that many within that many amount of packs. Full reverse, and we, well, we've got a Nimona full heart, so I guess that counts, doesn't it? We, hey, this is this is good. It's a good pull rate. Dude, why can't they do this for most, uh, for more sets, really? they put Nimona. Oh, no. You fix that. I'm gonna have to get used to using this new background. It's a bit difficult because I've made those those stands probably a little bit too thin, so I can't get my fingers in behind it. All right, second to last pack. Are we still hoping for some magic? We've already gotten six hits. Five of those have been good hits. We've only had the one double rare, which is the Toad School EX. Can we just pull one more out of the hat? We've got a Scrafty Reverse, a Seraledge Reverse, and another Annihilate. One pack. It's the last one. Hoping for some one pack magic on this. Let's just knock another rarity T off the list. See if we can do it. We've got a Chin Chow. We've got a Varum and a Charmander. We've got a Dedeno. We've got a Technical Machine Crisis Punch. We've got a Graplot. We have Nimona's Backpack to go with Nimona. We have another Baby Shiny. And we've got the Starmie. A little bit of damage on the top edge there by the looks of it. But we have another Baby Shiny. So our total's up to eight. <laughs> our total's up to eight. So we, in one video, we have managed to pull this two of the three illustration rares. That is fantastic. Let me just sleeve up this Starmy now that we've had a look at this Starmy. And I'll put this Starmy up here with the other baby shinies. And I'll drop them again. I may have to rejig that system up there. And let's have a look at the Wug Trio. Eight cards out of 11 packs. That's very good odds. I'm gonna enjoy this set. I'm gonna really like this set if this keeps up. 
and we'll put this one up there on our display. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at how we've gone. One double red to Toad School EX. We don't really want to worry about those because they're going to be cheap to pick up anyway if we need to, if we haven't completed them all, but it's a small set. These are where it really counts. We need to pull as many of these as possible. Three from this one product in one video, not a bad start. Pretty happy with that. Three really cool baby shines. We have pulled two illustration rares out of the three. We're 66.66% of the way of completing the illustration rares. Happy to have pulled this one. That's my favorite out of all of them, but we pulled those two illustration rares. We pulled the Alakazam Shiny Full Art. Happy with that. Alakazam is a great Pokemon. This is a great card. It looks awesome. And the Full Art Nimona as well. Not to mention, on top of, we've also got the two promos. The Mimikyu Pokemon Center Stamp and just the basic, regular, everyday. So, how about we do a little binder update? Okay, so post ripping into that Paladin Fates Elite Trainer Box Pokemon Center version. We've got our binder update here now. So I'm running with a 151 binder because it just has enough spots to be able to fit all cards in the set, including the special prints as well. Um, so here we are. We had 11 packs, and with what we've pulled, I mean, we've still got quite a few holes. Yes, bear that in mind. This is probably one of the most complete pages that we've actually got. Or is it that one? It's one or the other. This is where we're at. What we've actually gotten so far out of just those 11 packs is actually 30% completion. And so this is pretty much where the base main set really ends with the Ultra Ball. So it's going to end right there and then this point here is going to start with the Baby Shinies. And there's a lot of them. So the only we've only pulled three at this point. The Sco Villain, the Starmie, and a couple of pages over we have the Pormo. Um, and we have to obviously keep flicking through, we've got a lot of those to find, that's going to be the worst part of this set, but then we start on our Alakazams up here, so there is another obviously couple more in the set, being that, that being psychic, so there will be a few more over this page, we've still got to find, still got to pull, but then we've got our special illustration res, which are almost complete, we've just, excuse me, well, only got the format uh, left, or is it the format, I can't remember of those, and then we'll have the full arts from there, so basically, We've got an almost empty binder, really, but with 30% completed, so the majority of that is actually in the base set up to that number uh, 91 in both the reverse and the, and the, uh, the regular non hollows and hollows. So that's where we're at, 30%. Not a bad start from only 11 packs, and we've still got a few products to go. So I'm going to leave that there with you. Now, I did mention, obviously, in the last videos that uh, like, comment, and subscribing to help me get to the 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 watch hour uh, mark um, to get this channel monetized to help, you know, do a giveaway. I'm actually going to start doing some smaller giveaways uh, in some of the videos upcoming as well, but I'll get into that in the future videos anyway. But if you want to be uh, basically up to date on what's going to happen with those, like, comment, subscribe. That's all I can say, just those three things. So please help me get there, help me grow this channel, help me get it out there in front of more people. If you're enjoying this content, please share it. That's all I would really like. And with that said, I'll see you on the next one.